dummy and ok first take full backup I will continue with default location ok now time to create always on high availability next availability group is Windows Server Failover Cluster, Database Level Health Detection, and Power Database DTC Support. Next, this is the dummy and meets prerequisites. If you uh, do, uh, if you didn't take the full backup, it will says the requirement is not meet. So first, take full backup. Then next. Yeah, this is my primary and uh, I need to add replica or secondary secondary or replica is not to connect that's fine I will read able secondary yes yes and in points that's fine backup preference prefer secondary that's fine and priority is 50 50 that's fine for me listener okay i will create listener listener means one virtual database server name you can say so my db port is my database server default port so i will create i will keep the default port and if you have static ip you have to define here i will continue with dscp and this is my network that's fine and yeah that's fine listener backups endpoints replicas listeners and it will create my db1 virtual database server click next yes and automatic seeding and next all are green and pass next and click on finish Replace. Yeah, my DB. This is uh, created. And here, high ability group, my high ability group, and ability database. This is dummy. Here should be same. And this is dummy. Fine. Now. I'm going to connect SharePoint server to this database. So SPS service run configuration wizard. Next, yes, and create a new server farm. Okay, database server. I'm not going to use node one or node two. I will use virtually created database server name so thing my db this is my uh, virtually created uh, from node 1 to node 2 so it is fine so my db this is my node 1 and node 2 user account and database name i will create sp19 next this is my farm pass phrase next uh, this is for the test or demo so single farm server that's fine and next Uh, port I'll continue with 991919 and that's fine it is creating configuration database it will create con 
it will create configuration database to the node which is in primary now here uh, node roles here node one is primary now so database will be created in node one here SharePoint content div is uh, created and here after a long time SharePoint products configuration wizard is finished and this is the summary click on finish I don't wish to participate okay and now I will configure later thank you and cancel and this is central administration home page that's fine now here the availability group is running on node 1 and we have uh, WSS content like a SharePoint content database is in a node 1 because of this is running on node 1 here there is nothing in node 2 we need to synchronize or move or copy this database to node 2 also to uh, manage the field work and uh, the synchronization first of all take backup can i yeah that's fine and task backup okay that's fine take full backup okay and this one also backup full backup okay okay now go to always on high availability section availability groups and here this is my availability group availability database add database click next and we have already taken the backup so now it says uh, the prerequisite this is made select both click next connect to the node 2 or fill over next I will continue with full database and log log backup and for that we need to create one shared path so good I will create here I have only one drive so here backup and properties we need to share this one advanced sharing share this folder permission I will remove this group and add the database admin full control apply ok apply ok close and you need to provide UNC path node 1 and this is backup this is the UNC path paste and click on next next validation is running now yeah it is all green and success that's fine next and finish close yeah this is the management studio and refresh the nodes and high availability groups and availability database here too and same here there should be same database here one and two and here database it says synchronized here synchronized these both database are synchronized and both database within the high availability database groups and this is primary and this is 
uh, secondary now we will change role to the node 2 move select node and node 2 ok it transfer role to the node 2 now check with SharePoint manage application yeah fine web application fine and uh, for now it is in node 2 I'm going to restart the node 2 restart and check here it is transferring rule to the node 1 and node, node 1 is up again check the SharePoint manage application Uh, manage web application yeah that's fine thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel thank you